And we have a lot to celebrate this, this season. Uh, we have a lot of great things happen on all of your fields and on the courts. And uh, we will get to that later on after we have dinner. Um, and the reason that I like to do this, if you weren't here last year, I feel that it's really important for us as an athletic community, as our family, to come together and have a meal together. I think that that's a real important thing that sometimes life gets busy and we can't share a meal with our friends. And this is just a reminder how important our friendships are to each other and to our school. All right? And I would like to introduce our superintendent. She is on her way out to a school committee meeting. But um, she is a huge supporter of yours, and she's been at a lot of your games and contests and will con uh, continue to be in the winter and the spring. And it's my pleasure to introduce your superintendent, Ms. Kathleen Smith. Thank you. It is such a pleasure to come here, and I want to thank our athletic director, Kevin Carroll, for making sure this night happens for every one of you. There's nothing more impressive to look at all of you I understand what you do in the classroom to make sure that you have time for sports and all your extra activities. And when he talked about tonight, my heading to the school committee, I have to give a shout out to your school committee that no matter how difficult the budget is, they make sure that you have these opportunities for every single one of your sports. And we will continue to support that as Brockton has always done because we're very proud, we are the city of champions, and you certainly have made us that. I do want to congratulate, again, we're so proud of our state championship soccer team. <laughs> but we're also proud of many individuals that had uh, excellent seasons. And an excellent season could be you did better than last season. You improved in some special way. To every one of the coaches out there, and I'm looking around and there are so many of you that I have taught with or have been with over the years. I thank you for what you do each and every day, getting out in that field, teaching our kids the skill, teaching them good sportsmanship, and making sure that these activities will continue for a long time in our athletic department at Brockton High School. So congratulations, have a wonderful night. I looked at what you were being served. I wish I could stay, uh, but have a terrific evening. Thank you. And speaking of dinner, um, one of the things that I do like to do is I like to cook, and I'm about to share with you my grandmother's um, recipe that is called chicken paprikash. Part of my heritage is I'm Hungarian, half Hungarian, and this is something that I've grown up with since I was a little kid, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. One of the things, other than I share a meal, which I hope you enjoy, is that we get our seniors together one more time. Uh, we have our, the coaches recognize them. We give them a nice commemorative t-shirt. We went with white this year because we, we went, I want to say we did gray, black, and red last year. So we have a white one to add to your collection. And hopefully, for some of you, you'll get a white one, a red one in the winter, and then a black one in the spring. So I'd like to see you involved in a lot of things. Somebody from the paper asked me, he goes, hey, successful season, Mr. Kara? I said, yeah, it all depends on what your definition of success is. If it talks about how many championships we won and things like that, I said, yeah. But more importantly for me, my definition of success is that we have as many of you here on your varsity team as we started the season. So that's a plus for me, that we didn't have people quit. Right, you stuck with it, you stayed together, that's a huge thing for me. Second of all, we had teams go to the playoffs. I mean, we had our football team go to the playoffs. We had volleyball go to the playoffs. We had girls soccer that went to the playoffs. We had our boys soccer team that went to the playoffs. So, so there are a lot of teams. And the golf team qualified for the tournament. We had a freshman cross country run to do something that nobody in the country knew. And it was for the state race. And I mean, that is an unbelievable thing. So, successful? Absolutely. 
But more importantly, it's what you and how you represent me, your family, your community, your coaches, when you're in the classroom and on the field. All right, I can't tell you how many times that after the game, I'll go and I'll, the officials will be there. And it is so good to hear, man, that's a classic group of girls. That's a classic group of young men you have there. And to me, that is the ultimate compliment. So I want to thank all of you and your coaches as well for making sure that you wear that Brockton uniform with pride and respect. All right? First team that I'd like to uh, introduce their seniors would be Coach Glennon to introduce her girls' soccer team. All right, we have five seniors on the girls' soccer team, four of which are here today. Uh, the first I'd like to recognize is Stephanie Al. The next I'd like to recognize is Serena De Silva. Set to OA, and I could see. All right, 
time to step up the game, and you came out and won three straight, and uh, you know, it was a great season, and so I am very happy, and I know Coach Lane at home is as well. All right, so in no particular order, where is Madison? I have to give her a hard time because every time I see her, I'm like, why aren't you playing basketball? I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. she puts her hands up. She's taller than I am. She's a great athlete. And uh, I'm going to miss seeing her around. Ayanna Griffin. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> stay up, stay up. Yeah. Bro. Okay, next up stay is up. Colleen Kilroy. Emily Kushikinis. <laughs> and I can tell you, I feel really old when her dad and I played baseball together probably 25 years ago, so that makes me feel really old. And last but not least, Miss Sephora.
Donda the enemy. Tony Cesarini. Olivia De Silva. Eric Hernandez. Will Donnarumma. So 